Quick Zippo collection update here as I'm still locked down in Coronaville. This represents a new direction for Zippo, something that they refused to do for a long time, but it looks like they're easing their restrictions up a little bit. I read in one of the Zippo history books, I don't remember which one it was, but the Zippo for a long time would not make any sort of graphics on their Zippos that were what you would consider geared towards kids, because then they would consider that advertising tobacco to towards kids. And I've always had a problem with that mindset because I don't think that adults are the only people that use lighters, especially kids nowadays that watch YouTube and are more into the, like the EDC mindset and stuff. They tend to be into cool things like Zippo. And what they often say is, well, they don't want them having lighters because it goes in with tobacco and smoking. I've never smoked. Well, that's not true. I've had a cigar before uh, or a few and I never really enjoyed it. And that lasted about maybe two or three months out of my life doing that. I think I had a total in my life of maybe like five cigars. But I've never smoked a cigarette, and I have no inclination to, yet I collect Zippos, and I have a very large Zippo collection. There's absolutely no connection. It's completely idiotic to think if you collect lighters, then all of a sudden you're going to start smoking. That's like saying if you're a plumber and you collect drain cleaner, you're going to become a meth dealer, like Breaking Bad. But for the longest time, they were not making any sort of lighters marketed towards kids. Again, this represents a lightning of that policy, and one that I'm very happy to see. I have three lighters here, one you've actually seen before if you watched a previous collection update video, but I'm going to show you a little bit closer look now. And the reason I'm showing you this one right here is to show that even this one, which is a video game related lighter, wasn't made during the time the Zippo was making video game related lighters. This is very recently that they've decided to venture into that. They've decided to make, venture into making lighters geared, st geared towards kids. Well, video games, and typically people consider video games for kids. I don't, but most people do. Uh, this lighter here was before they decided to get into that mindset. Uh, so I might, as well, I might as well go ahead and start with this one. If you look at the back here, it doesn't even have a sticker on it. So it's a completely generic Zippo, and it doesn't have an insert that would show anything other than it's a completely generic Zippo because this was bought as a regular high-polished chrome lighter, and it was engraved by the company that bought it. And that company was Rockstar Games, and people familiar with Rockstar Games would know they are very famous for publishing things like the Grand Theft Auto series. And this is my Grand Theft Auto 5 high-polished chrome Zippo. I got this from the, oh, look at that nasty fingerprint on there. I got this from the Rockstar warehouse that they have there. And I was like, wow, you don't really see too many Zippo video game related lighters for the aforementioned reasons. So I might want to grab this. And Grand Theft Auto 5 is good. It's not my favorite Grand Theft Auto. That is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. San Andreas is, I think it's actually my favorite game of all time. Top three video games of all time, I think, are Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Resident Evil 4, and Super Mario World, which will come up again in this video, hint, hint. Um, I also, Metal Gear Solid 2 is very good for me. I've played through that. Now, going through a number of times I've beat it. That's, that's also up there as well. But I did enjoy Grand Theft Auto 5. It was a lot better than 4. I thought 4 was terrible. I thought the tr the attempt to make the controls realistic, quote-unquote, in Grand Theft Auto 4 uh, made it so the game was just flat fun. I think that Nico runs around like he's trying to swim through molasses and everything's slow and clunky, and I really did not like Grand Theft Auto 4 in the slightest. At least they went a little bit back to their more over the top roots in 5, so I did enjoy that. But this is your high polish chrome, and it has the famous, famous Grand Theft Auto 5 with the Roman numeral 5 in the background there. Again, from the Rockstar Warehouse, Rockstar bought a bunch of high polish chrome Zippos, and they had them custom engraved. They may have even had them custom engraved from Zippos because you can get custom engraving from Zippo themselves nowadays. There's certain things you can't have on there, like things that are obscene, but if you have a large company doing it, I don't think they'd have a particular problem with a video game. When it's not Zippo's own design, it's a company you know, putting in for the design and having it put etched into the lighter. So this is my Grand Theft Auto 5 Zippo. I don't know if this is still available. Again, I got this in the Rockstar Warehouse online thing. There was a couple different things you could get, and I figured I will get this one. So move that out of the way. Now the actual ones I did just buy, because people at the Zippo manufacturing company in Bradford, Pennsylvania, are apparently essential workers somehow, because I ordered this a few days ago, and I got it all through this coronavirus nonsense. 
These are the two lighters that I got here. I'm going to show you this one first and then this one over here because there's a kind of a hint as to what this one is right there. Oh, what company is that? Yikes. But let's open up this one first because it's not... Bl well, it is blatantly video game related, but it's not related directly to a video game, quote unquote. But you know exactly what game they're going for with this one. It is the... Uh, what do they call this? This is the 8-bit design, which is weird because I actually think they call this online the turtle design, but here's the information on it. And I think it's pretty obvious which game the Zippo Flame appears in front of, which kingdom. Um, let's just say there might be a fun guy that runs through that kingdom. Yes, obviously this is based on uh, the background there is from Super Mario Brothers. And in Mario games, I think Super Mario World is my favorite. It was the one that I grew up with. I've beaten Super Mario World many times, all the exits and stuff like that. I did enjoy Super Mario Brothers, but it actually took me a long time to beat that. I, that was that was a bit harder. I, I wasn't one that actually beat Super Mario Brothers when I was a kid. I was a bit lame, I suppose. But I did beat Super Mario World. But this is obviously the Super Mario Brothers. And one thing I really enjoy about this, besides the obvious 8-bit graphics and the uh, the flame that has these hexagonal patterns in it that does kind of look like a Koopa shell, and the Zippo 8-bit writing here, is it's this matte cream color. It is not white. It is like a matte cream color, and I think that's an excellent choice. It kind of matches with the background here in Not Mario, Not Mushroom Kingdomville. Uh, I think it looks very nice. It's like this matte cream. So there's the sad onion pan of it. Maybe he's sad because he's in lockdown. Um, but yes, here is the Not Mario Zippo that I got, and I also and I ordered these from Zippo.com. I actually ordered straight from the company. Uh, because that was the only place I could find these particular designs. Uh, you might be able to find them more now, but Zippo.com typically gets them first, and I figured, eh, support them a little bit, support the local company during this lockdown. So that's the first one. Set that over there. I'll open up this 5 Zippo again here and get this nasty fingerprint off once and for all. There we are. Set that over here. Get these lids out of the way. And so we have this one. So if you know this company, you know uh, one of the things they are famous for is the Tom Clancy series. Huge Tom Clancy fan. I was a Tom Clancy fan from... I think Splinter Cell was the first game that I became a Tom Clancy fan for, and it actually got me into reading the Splinter Cell novels, and then I read the Rainbow Six novels, and I played Rainbow Six. Huge Rainbow Six Siege fan as, all of, as well, and I wish that they had a Rainbow Six Siege lighter, especially one with Kaber on there. That would be an instant purchase for me. But this isn't that... Uh, Tom Clancy got me interested in the 10 millimeter cartridge, which is going to be very relevant here in a few days, I hope, uh, because of its use in Rainbow Six. So big Tom Clancy fan. And if this was maybe not Mario and maybe not entirely a video game, this actually is branded directly to a video game. And I think that's awesome because it shows that Zippo is finally taking that step where, okay, we can go ahead and market things uh, towards video games. You know, it's not just marketing towards kids and even if it is again doesn't mean it's automatically they're going to go smoke a bunch of tobacco now that you got to be 21 to do it anyway they're also doing that with marijuana there used to be a huge anything to do with marijuana that used to be a way that you could tell a fake zippo and that's one of the things i should put out there and things not to look for to show that it's fake anymore anything pot related used to automatically mean that the zippo was fake because Zippo would never have any marijuana related stuff on their lighters but that also has changed you can get official zippo stuff now with marijuana related stuff on there so go out and get that if you're interested so which game is this referencing here ubisoft i actually mentioned it earlier you should know right by the three dots splinter cell and i love that it's just that's all you need to see that is the sam fisher's trademark there in black with little green dots down there tom clancy splinter cell and it's just all matte black this was actually made in January 2020. That's how recently this came out. It's got all the copyright information. And I like the fact that this Zippo just says Tom Clancy Splinter Cell, despite the game that they actually got the license for being Splinter Cell Blacklist, because Blacklist is not one of my favorite uh, Splinter Cell games at all. And the reason for that is it didn't have Michael Ironside as Sam Fisher. Michael Ironside, huge reason I like the Splinter Cell game so much. He is such a great voice actor. He is Sam Fisher. You can actually see an interview of uh, with him here on YouTube of him being, uh, he's talking about being Sam Fisher, how he was taking a plane flight, and he was asking the hostess for something, and somebody behind him said, Sam, 
<laughs> you're Sam Fisher, and I thought that was very interesting. But he wasn't in this game. I hear he might be returning for a Splinter Cell in the future, though, though. Fingers crossed. They changed the voice actor for this game, and it kind of killed it for me. I actually never even beat this game. But that's why I'm happy that the lighter itself just says Splinter Cell. It doesn't have a game tied to it, despite the case, or the, the box here saying uh, Blacklist. And that is the uh, the third Zippo I got there. So I'm going to try to keep this video kind of short. Um, one thing I do want to uh, add in here, though, <clears throat> is, because it is a little bit relevant, one of the things I've been doing during lockdown uh, has to do with this lighter here. Totally relevant, and, and if you don't care about video games at all, you can stop watching right now. But I did beat Super Mario 3D World on my Wii U. And uh, this is how little I've been doing during this lockdown. I spent 110 hours on it, as you can see here. I got 100% complete, and I mean 100% complete. I did, I got all the green stars, all the exits, all the stamps, and I actually beat every level with every character. I didn't do that thing where you just have a bunch of characters go in at once and then just all touch the flagpole. I literally went through each level five times with each of the characters. So, yeah. Took 110 hours to beat. But I did, and that was a huge accomplishment. I was very happy when I finally beat that. There were some toughies in there. But that's my little uh, Zippo collection update here. Hope we're all staying safe during this coronavirus lockdown, which does appear to be petering off because people are realizing it was a huge overreaction. But we won't get into that in this video. I will make a video soon, hopefully, about the current state that we're in. But these are the three newest Zippos, and they will get filtered into my rotating display case. And then the ones that I take out of there will get into another case, and uh, such is life when you become a Zippo collector. But I hope you enjoyed this video, showed you some designs that you may not have seen before, and again, stay safe out there. Take it easy, guys.